What's up everybody? First, I want to say that I'm sorry for not sticking to my regularly scheduled Tuesday and Friday uploads. I'm gonna get better. But this video, you've asked for programming. This is my four hacks for FLL programming. Inside of First Lego League, probably what students have the hardest time with is getting their robot to be consistent. So this is really kind of four hacks to consistency in programming. First thing is kind of hardware. Um, if your robot doesn't have bumpers, especially a back bumper, I highly recommend that you build one for it. Uh, I recommend this to all of my students that I mentor in FLL, and I'm recommending it to all of you because this way you can use it to line yourself up. And the first way, I'll show you how. And I, I recommend this, I recommend this to every FLL team that I mentor and that's just to drag a move tank block up as your first block of every single program and turn it on for seconds at negative 10, negative 10 for one second. This is gonna back the robot up against the wall and leave perfectly straight before you even begin your first mission. This is what it looks like. My uh, third hack is to follow not the black lines, but the white lines around the black lines for this year's hydrodynamics game. Uh, it improved uh, the accuracy of multiple teams' robots. It was a great hint that was passed to us uh, that uh, I'm passing to you. Follow the white lines instead of the black lines like like this. If you haven't seen my line following video, go go watch that. Uh, I explain how the light sensor and the color sensor work to follow the lines. Uh, and I show you how to build this. This is a loop with a switch with the line following. And uh, instead of selecting the black on number one, you just need to select the white on number six. And that'll follow the white line for however long. Right now we say infinity, but we can change that to time and say five seconds. Sure. Download and put this in your program. It looks like this. My second hack, I'm not going to show you the programming for because it's it's kind of hard to show you in application to your programs, but uh, what I recommend is that in the middle of programs, wherever you can, to line yourself up back up against the wall in the middle of programs. And this is what it looks like. I'm at home and I'm realizing I didn't shoot a end to the video, but I hope you found it useful. I hope your robots run more consistent. Uh, let me know in the comments if uh, this was helpful. Like and share and uh, I'll see you in the next one.